Team Overkill Bench Assistance Day. Reverse band board presses and triceps. Barzine starting off the day with a reverse band double off his chest. Still in a warm up uh, mode here for a double. Barzine doesn't use this method often, so he's just kind of, you know, being complacent and then he got a little wild there at the end. Here's Jose with three really fast reps. Jose's been hurting for a little while. Shoulder, a little sternum injury he's been fighting, so he kind of cut it a little short on this day. Here's Jason. Again, super explosive for 405. Here's myself taking a single off the chest, just warming up. Franco at 365. Franco had a really good day today, learning to keep those elbows tight. And Kristen in the mix here with 225 for a double. This is comparable to what she can actually do in a shirt, so it was actually a kind of a confidence booster that she did this raw, at least mentally anyway. Uh, Barzine here with five plates for a triple off the chest. Obviously the deload effect allows us to save the preserve the shoulders uh, in the bottom of the lift while hammering that lockout and that's what today was, is lockout work. So same with five plates, smoking a single there, I think he cut it there. Here's Jason one went up 495 chest. And myself with the three board, start my doubles work here. Kind of worked up over about five, maybe six sets. Franco 405 working a three board. Here today the object is to pick a board uh, where your sticking point is and work through that sticking point with some heavier weights. Kristen with a two board, she gets stuck off a two board a little bit lower than most of her. She ekes out a double. She was still trying to get used to tucking the elbows raw, but it was a good day for her nonetheless. Here's Barzine with a two board, 585. Um, Smokes it pretty easy for the first one. He gets a little bit more aggressive. Pretty good there for the big man, Jason. The birthday boy with a two board press. Six plates. Smoking a single, of course, as he probably does the singles. Here's Pete. Myself with a uh, 545, another double. Trying to be as fast as I can off that three board level. That's where I typically get stuck. Frank off with a two board here. And he eked out about, I want to say, four and a half plates there. Here's Kristen. 225. Pretty easy double here. Tuck it hard. Drive the heels. Heels. Good. Drive the heels. Double Excuse me, out. triple. Easy. Good. Jason, 635 two board. This time we were putting on the slingshots here to really, really get that extra support, simulate that shirt. As the uh, meat gets closer here, we'll start using the shirts on this method. Franco here going bananas with four and a half plates in the slingshot. I think he does like five or six reps here. I uh, know, stop counting after two. I think he just got a little piss and vinegar in him and look what happened. Barzine, 455 for five down. Just a deload set here. Keep the blood flowing, keep the bar speed. And he blasts it up pretty fast here. Jason, 675. I want to say he surprises everybody, and I was about to rack him, and he does a double. So, how about it? Reps for Jason. Pete, three board, 635 for a double. I think this was uh, my top set. Actually, all time on that lift, so I cut it there. Franco two board, five plates and the slingshot. You can see you get a lot of out of the bottom at the top. That weight is back on there. So Franco, that's a pretty good day. Here's Franco with the elbows out tricep extension, otherwise known as the tape press. Some various assistance work we all did. Just taped it really quick here. Franco's first time doing it. That's why it looks kind of a little goofy. Being complacent, learning the movement. And then you got um, coming up here, Jason with Skull Crusher with 225 with the football bar. Don't try this at home, kids. This is purely Jason touching it. Well, we can call it a chin crusher because if he would have dropped it, he would have crushed his teeth. But um, my goodness. His triceps are ready to go. Stay tuned for a big squat Saturday.